OCT or optical coherence tomography is, is really the optical analog to ultrasound imaging. So instead of putting in sound waves uh, to produce an image, we put in light, light waves, and, and measure those reflections that come back. And because we use light, we have a much better, higher resolution uh, than ultrasound. Uh, there's always a trade-off between depth of imaging and resolution. So we can only image a few millimeters into tissue, uh, but we can do so with micron scale resolution. So there's advantages to that. Certainly we're able to see uh, uh, features, cells, and tissues that are very close to what you would see uh, in histology or what a pathologist would use to make a diagnosis. And so with that ability, just as a pathologist will look at you know, a biopsy of a tissue specimen to make the diagnosis, we can produce that same type of image and conceivably be able to provide that information in real time. So one of the, uh, the major projects we have going is to take this type of instrument uh, into the hospital clinical setting, and in particular into surgery, where surgeons then can be able to analyze uh, the tissue that's being removed and be able to determine if the, the tumor margins uh, are clear of disease. So a major uh, question that they all have is after resecting a tumor, uh, you know, surgeons really have the, the macroscopic view of the tissue. They don't have the microscopic perspective. Uh, so, but being able to uh, look at this microscopically and look at tumor margins, make sure that all the tumor was resected, uh, that gives a significant advantage over that particular procedure. So our clinical translational work has been evolving over the past several years. Uh, we've essentially had to develop some of these, uh, the protocols and make the collaborations with our clinical uh, collaborators, uh, and that's taken some time. Uh, but in the last year, one to two years, we've had ongoing clinical trials where we've been imaging patients in the operating room and using that information to assess how well OCT works. So in addition to having our, our optical imaging system uh, our OCT system in, t in the operating suite, uh, we've been looking at tumor margins there prior to sending the tissue on to pathology. So that allows us to be able to compare our image data with the actual pathology that is used for the diagnosis. And so far, our statistics are looking very good. In fact, we've got uh, uh, almost a, a perfect record of identifying uh, in the operating room what pathologists will later diagnose. Uh, so looking at tumor margins, being able to also look at lymph nodes. Uh, lymph nodes are act as kind of the, the body's filter uh, for disease, and when cancer spreads, they frequently go to the, uh, to the lymph nodes. And so once again, we've been able to, to use our OCT imaging to look at lymph node structures and determine has the cancer really spread and find that information out in, during the procedure rather than having to wait days or weeks for the pathology report. We've got a lot of attention, a lot of interest, just because I think it, it touches everyone in some way. So our health, our personal health, and the people that we know, that's all very close to us. And, uh, and so being able to have a technology that impacts that and where people can see the advantage and impact that will have on healthcare uh, is very rewarding. Uh, we see that with the students, uh, with the scientists involved in this research. You know, I think that they develop that interest because they can see the immediate impact that it has on patients. I think this technology has a quite wide range of applications. So most of our work has been focused on uh, breast cancer detection. Uh, but obviously any type of solid tumor detection where there's always a question of did the surgeon get all of the tumor? Uh, how far has the tumor spread? Uh, these are questions that I think we want to, to answer for many other uh, types of procedures. So we want to go in the direction of making our system faster, uh, making it uh, able to become more user-friendly so a technician or a surgeon in a very busy operating room can quickly acquire this data to allow the computer to make some of the diagnostic uh, assessment. Uh, this is done in many other uh, techniques in mammography, in assessing pap smears, where a computer makes the first pass and says, is this area normal or abnormal? And what that, why that's important is because we have such a large volume of data that we get that the this operator or the surgeon can't physically look through all of it. And so we really need these types of computer uh, algorithms to come in and classify data to, to point out what might be abnormal. 
So that's another area that we're headed to. And also I think that this technology, being able to make it more compact and more uh, efficient for use in the, the, the hospital setting is going to be important as well.